Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use replicators in Modo to create some really cool dynamic effects. Okay so here we are in Modo and first of all I'm going to create a floor so I'm just going to click on the cube and just draw out a floor very basic like that and I'm just going to set the size to 20 meters by 20 meters and I'm going to make the thickness 0.1 so it's basically 100 millimeters. Okay, and so that's our floor and I'm just going to rename it. So we keeping everything nice and tidy. And then we're going to create a new mesh by pressing in. And um, then I'm just going to create a sphere. So I'm just going to draw out a sphere by holding control. Something like that. And let's make it 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters by 500 millimeters. And um, then I'm just going to move that into place. And as you can see, our pivot point is um, not centered. So with that selected, I'm going to go to Edit and then Center to Bounding Box and then click on Center. So we've got that uh, pivot centered. So this way, I'm just going to leave off to the side. We're not really going to use it. We're going to use it as our prototype. So um, that's all good. And next, I'm going to go to the Setup tab here at the top. And this is basically where we're going to create our particles um, the replicator and uh, the dynamics. So in this view, make sure you're on the particles uh, tab right at the bottom and then I'm going to click on a radial emitter to create that and I'm just going to move it up and this is basically where our particles will be spawned or where our replicators will, will come from. Okay, next we're going to create our replicator. So here on the side, I'm going to click on add item and then go down to particles and then click on replicator and um, this is where we're going to select our prototype and the point source. So where it says prototype, just click on the drop down and select your sphere. So currently we didn't rename it, so let's do that first. So our mesh, I'm just going to call that sphere. And um, so let's go back to our replicator and prototype. We're going to click down, select sphere. And um, then where it says point source, I'm going to select my particle simulation. And that's basically our um, emitter. So just to tell the replicator to use that emitter to emit from. So if you click on start simulation here at the bottom, you'll see these uh, cubes coming from our radial emitter. These cubes are actually the spheres, so that's all good. And um, next we want to add some dynamics so that those spheres actually fall to the floor. So with our replicator selected, I'm going to go to dynamics here on the side and then I'm going to click on active rigid body. And that's going to give it an active rigid body dynamic system and I'm going to click on start simulation again and you'll see that these boxes or these spheres actually will fall down to the floor. All right, so let's stop that. So if we click on our radial emitter, you can set the emission rate here. This is the amount of spheres that it's going to generate, I think, per second. So let's set this to maybe to 80 and let's just start our simulation again. So you can see we've got a lot more spheres coming out of that emitter. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to stop that. And um, next we want to set our floor so that's a um, dynamic object as well. So we're going to click on the floor and then under dynamics, I'm going to set that as a static rigid body. Okay, and then let's start our simulation again. And now you can see the spheres are actually falling onto the floor. So if you want to set the bounciness or change any of the dynamic properties of your uh, replicator, I'm going to go to dynamic replicator here. And this is where you can set the bounce, the friction, uh, stickiness, all of these things. So I'm going to increase my bounce to 100%. And let's just start simulation again to see how that looks like. And I can see we've got a bit of uh, bounciness going on there. All right, so let's cache our simulation. So I'm going to click on this cache uh, simulation button here. And I want to cache everything from 0 to 500. Um, I think by default you'll have 120 uh, frames, but I've set mine to 500, so you can change that as well. And then we're going to click on OK. And that's just going to cache our simulation quickly. OK, so now you can scrub through your animation and you'll see all these boxes. So if we now go to the render tab, you will see that these are actually the spheres. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. There you go. You can see we've got our spheres. And um, now you can go ahead and you can actually hide your original prototype sphere. That one sitting there, just hide it so it won't render. And um, yeah, now you can render out your animation. So if you want to change the material of your replicator items, just change the original prototype. So I'm clicking on my sphere, original sphere, pressing M for material. And let's just create a new one. Let's call it yellow. And I'm just going to set the color to yellow as well. Click OK, click OK, 
and you'll see that it will apply that material to all the replicator items. And that's how easy it is to use replicators in Modo to create some really interesting and cool dynamic effects. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye. Also remember to click that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new weekly tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.